And as you find that position just right for you, close your eyes. And allow the breath to be in and out through your nose. And allow the body to feel even more comfortable. Allow all the people all the conditions, situations in life. Mm, Just to float down like feathers. Just slowly floating down the different thoughts connected to the different situations, just floating down to the earth, to gravity, to a place where they can just settle. Right now, we're taking a time in. I want you to focus on the breath. And see if you can just take longer, slower breaths in and out. It might be that this time in together, you and me, has caught you at a time where it almost feels impossible to relax, to take this time. So it might take a little more effort today with all that is going on and all the conversations and the demands, all of the circumstances hovering right around you, whatever is still hovering, allow it to just float like a feather down to the earth. The breath, ah, the breath breathes you. Feel that now as attention becomes very directed to the breath and the heart. Heart focused breath. And you even begin drifting and floating. Drifting and floating so easily, so rhythmically with your breath.
want you to begin to imagine yourself in an inner sanctuary, very safe, protected. where you can let down any guard, any protection. You can relinquish any roles or duties or responsibilities. In this inner sanctuary, I want you to drop into feeling so, so comfortable and in every way supported. Whatever little thoughts may be lingering, just change them into feathers that slowly float down because gravity helps them just finding their way down to the earth. This inner sanctuary is for you. Melt and Soften all the muscles around your eyes and across your face. Letting your tummy be warm, soft. Feel your limbs, your arms and legs so heavy and relaxed. Feel the breath and feel yourself drifting and floating. And since your mind is already filled with thoughts, let me guide your thinking. Let me take you on a journey. So notice, do you need to change positions or move? Get more comfortable. And in a moment, you will travel back through time. And as you do this, your breath may change tempo. You may hold your breath without realizing. Or exhale something without knowing what. Feel 
follow the body's cues. Let the body lead. What awaits you isn't in your head. Not something you've written, discussed, or read. Yet when you arrive, you will instantly recognize what is there. It has waited for you to come back. This part of you has never, ever gone away. But you may have gone away and been out of touch for reasons that made sense up until now. Walking down a dimly lit hall, you see a tiny door ahead. It is closed and locked from the inside. Only a young child could fit through such a door. You stand there and sense Someone is behind the door. You can't see or hear them, but you can almost feel them. You breathe here. Behind this door is the tender, curious, pure little you, locked away. The original child before performing before being the helper. Before being the problem. Before becoming self-conscious. Before scanning a room and picking a mask. before shame took residence. Before spontaneity got erased. Before taking care 
of everybody else. This little you is behind the door. As you look down at the floor, a note is slid from under the closed door that is a message meant for you. As you pick it up and look at it, you take a moment and breathe. You hear the door begin to open. You are too tall to see in. So you lean down and look through the small passageway. There in the room, the little you waits. Without words, you know you are welcomed into this room. Your body becomes the size it needs to to fit through the door, and so you enter. Once inside, you notice the atmosphere is different. The room opens up, transforms into a landscape made for the two of you to visit. The door closes behind you, and now you both can be together, doing, saying, playing, most of all, feeling connected with one another. Enjoy these few minutes. My voice will be quiet.
And as you come back, the sound of my voice Find a place where you both can comfortably look at each other. The little you is going to whisper something to you. Lean in and listen. And when the communication is complete, Take a few longer breaths. I want you, the grown up, to let the little you know you heard the whisper and communicate in whatever way so that this little one knows they are loved. And let the little you find a place in your heart to live, be cared for, safe, and loved. As you make your way back to this moment where your body is supported, start to collect what is most meaningful and important that you now know and feel. In a moment, you will write down what you want to take with you and slowly start to come up through your body and into your chest, your throat, jaw. And let your attention rest behind your eyelids, still closed. Become even more aware of what you want to take with you. Gently open your eyes, and when ready, begin writing. I'm going to be quiet for five minutes.
if you are still writing. Stay with it. If it feels like a good place to just pause, close your eyes again. Acknowledging this part of you can be hurt that needs sometimes extra time and care and patience. So that part doesn't have to be locked away or misunderstood in the adult life, but actually a very viable, important part of you. This might be very familiar to you to communicate with this part of you, or it may be foreign. But to be childlike is to be open, spontaneous, playful. Expressive. Notice those traits and how they interplay in your life. Playfulness, fun, spontaneity, laughing. Hmm. So, if it feels right, you can open your eyes and I don't know how often you want to kind of tune in to that part of you, but I can tell you this. Look at your life and see how much of it honors childlike spontaneity. And who is it that you feel the most playful with? That when you get together or when you do something, you can be alone. It's just fun. So the inner child, it's a tender place. I think it's where we feel so alive before some of the garbage came into our life. What's that saying? It's never too late to have a happy childhood. Eh. It's a nice statement. Probably is quite true. But what is important for this meditation is fun, childlike, spontaneous, and that freedom to 
Just be you. And do things in your life that you don't have to think about monetizing it or getting a master's in it. Just doing things that you enjoy. And maybe it's, like I said, totally foreign or quite familiar. Depends on really where we are in life, what season we are in. So that is it. That's it for our meditation. And as you all know, I wish you more and more comfort, humor, and inspiration. <laughs>